Operation Unified Protector is not just being undertaken by nations which are part of the NATO alliance. Partner nations are contributing too. Sweden has sent a detachment of fighters to Sigonella Air Base in Sicily. So how easy is it for a non-NATO country to integrate into a NATO-led operation? Actually, it's not uh, that new that you might uh, be able to think at first impression, because uh, Sweden has been taking part in uh, NATO exercises since, uh, since mid-90s. So it's not totally new for us. The Swedes have brought eight Gripen lightweight multi-role fighters to Sigonella, as well as a Hercules air-to-air refuelling tanker. The Swedish government has not mandated a strike role for their aircraft. Instead, they've been deployed in order to enforce the no-fly zone and have undertaken a reconnaissance role, giving NATO commanders an added capability in the air and on the ground in Libya. These modern fighters have the latest technology, such as radios and identification systems, which have made integration all the easier. Uh, since a couple of years ago, Sweden changed system to something similar to the NATO system. And uh, this basically means that they, it's quite easy for us to be a part of, of the NATO structure. Yeah, they're capable of the same thing as other fourth generation aircraft and uh, older third generation aircraft. It's a bit like the F-16 or uh, if you like it, uh, the uh, Eurofighter Rafale. It's a multi-role, swing-role machine capable of air-to-air, air-to-ground and uh, reconnaissance. And we can uh, go from one role to another role just by the touch of a button. Used to a peacetime role of home defence, the Swedish Air Force has not deployed abroad since the Congo crisis of 1961. It was about 50 years ago since we last participated in a real uh, combat mission with uh, fighters, so it's, it, it is a quite big step for the Swedish Air Force. NATO works with partners all over the world, and this partnership is proving a valuable contribution to Operation Unified Protector. I feel that uh, the, the integration has uh, made big, uh, big steps forward and uh, we think that for the moment everything works very, very well. This is David Heathfield at Sigonella Air Base for the NATO Channel.